all's well that ends well. Cheerio, surf addictors. Meraba friends and Shakespearean surfers. Yeah, all's well that ends well. We have arrived at the end of our book answering the question A Winter Week in Morocco. Is it worth traveling there? Yes? No? Maybe? And if you watch the other chapters, you already know the answer is yes, yes, yes. And this is just a short conclusion with some things that might be of interest to you just to have some key takeaways. First question, once I decided to travel to Morocco, which is the right season? In my opinion, the right season is the European winter season. Why? Okay, in Europe it is cold, the weather is really grey and depressing, whereas in Morocco it is warm, mellow. It's not cold unless you're going to the mountains and it is not too hot, which is the case uh, in summer in Morocco. The beaches in winter, especially in the pre-Christmas season, they are not crowded and the most important thing for somebody who likes to surf is the wave conditions. They are perfect between late October and late March. Next question. Yeah, how do you get there? By plane, of course. My experience with choosing Ryanair was positive. Uh, friendly crew, uh, fast and punctual. Uh, and when arrived at Agadir, the checkout was super, super fast. The fastest checkout of my life. Next question, how do I get from the airport to Takazut, from Agadir to Takazut? Well, I was lucky because uh, my surf course included the transfer. Uh, I had a sort of VIP treatment uh, with the taxi bringing me directly from Agadir to Takazut. Where should I stay? You can stay in a hotel, you can stay in a surf camp if you want the real surf spirit and if you don't care so much about privacy. You can also stay in an apartment, which was my choice. I booked the apartment um, with Nabil on Airbnb uh, and it offered everything that I liked, including a perfect view on the sea. The surf course itself. Should I book a surf course? Yes. Uh, for me, the answer was clear because I'm not a good surfer, but I think whatever is your level, your skill level, you should book a surf course with an experienced and good surf teacher slash surf scout. Because my experience was uh, with Nabil, he knew how to read the waves, he knew all about the currents, he knew about the right spot at the right time, which is something that Izuki will never tell you. And he also helped me to improve my surfing skills. Thanks again, Nabil. Uh, next topic that I'd like to cover briefly, the culture, the people in Morocco, really friendly, really open-minded, uh, not only that was the case with Nabil, who is uh, not only a great surf teacher, but also a great character, uh, but also with his friend Haitam, uh, sea-bound people, friendly people, talkative and communicative people, um, something I really, really enjoyed. The cost of living in Morocco, yeah, it's relatively inexpensive. If you buy local food or if you eat in a local restaurant, um, the cost is, I think, about, let's say, 20% of what you pay in Europe, 10% of what you pay in Europe. Uh, if you decide, as I said, for local food, vegetables, fruit, or oh, delicious fruit, fresh fish, or tagine in a restaurant. If you say, oh, I want sort of my food from Europe that is imported, you pay more or less the same as you pay in Europe. One thing uh, 
regarding the cost of living that is uh, maybe a surprise to you. The internet. The internet uh, is quite expensive. There is good internet. Uh, if you rely on your local provider, as I did, it's going to cost you a lot of money. So my advice is buy a local SIM card, not at the airport. Ask your surf teacher uh, because he will surely know which is the best choice. Yeah, I've arrived at the end of this video almost. If you like the video, thumbs up. If you didn't like it, thumbs somewhere else, wherever it, you like them. And we've also arrived at the end of the Morocco book. But this is not the end. I'll be back. And I think that I will post some other videos about surfing experiences that I made in other countries, in other surf spots, such as uh, Denmark and Klitmalar and Halmstholm and Bunker Beach, um, in Lacanau, in France, uh, in San Vicente de la Barquera, in Spain, and most famous and infamous uh, in Scheveningen, in Holland, in winter. So, stay tuned and have a great time. See you next time. If you like this channel, subscribe, activate the notification bell and you won't miss another of these videos. Yeah, this is really the end. I can't believe it. But it's not the end of me and Morocco because I will definitely be back. Have a good time. Cheerio, Sir Benictus. Bye-bye.